Turning now to the Rochester City School District. After an important school board meeting at the Rochester City School District last night, two big announcements came out from the superintendent and board members revolving around safety and schools potentially closing or merging. Alex Love went through each recommendation and spoke with the Rochester Teachers Association, then the Children's Agenda, about how this could impact students and staff. He is in our newsroom now with more. Alex? There's a lot to unpack here, Katrina. In Dr. Leslie Meyer Small's recommendations for the 2022 23 academic year, three schools would close, six would relocate, and two mergers would happen, all because of some campus infrastructure aging and low enrollment. In the past seven years, RCSD has lost about 4,600 students in their district, while some buildings are nearly 100 years old. To accommodate low capacities and repairs, Dr. Leslie Meyer Small recommends closing Flower City School number 54, Leadership Academy for Young Men in Charlotte, and the Virgil I. Grissom School number 7 next fall. The worst thing about it is that by closing some schools and merging others, they're really paving the way for increasing class sizes and for laying off teachers. Current students at these schools would be entered in the school of choice process to select a new school next fall. Rise Academy would move to School 7's campus, while Montessori Academy would relocate to Flower City, and Northeast College High would go to the Leadership Academy in Charlotte's building. But the relocation RTA is most concerned about is the International Academy going to Wilson Magnet High School. Students who are very vulnerable, who come here after a lot of trauma from third world countries and without knowing the language. All this is going to be discarded at a time when it's needed the most. As for school security, the Rochester City School District announced an approval to enter an agreement with the Rochester Police Department for the next 30 days to have them patrol outside 11 secondary schools for one hour during arrival and dismissal. But experts in child care urge the district needs to find a more permanent plan to stop violent outbreaks in school. The issue uh, often just comes down to resources and supports for kids. So, you know, funding for schools, funding for programs. There are just a lot of, of barriers and uh, to overcome a lot of supports that are not always in place. Again, in total, six school relocations are being proposed in the superintendent's recommendations, plus four different schools merging. For a full list to see if your child's school would be impacted, visit our website, rochesterfirst.com. Live in the newsroom, Alex Love, News 8. Alex, thank you. The State Department of Education would need to approve these school merging proposals before the RCSD board votes on all of Dr. Meyer Small's ideas in February. A public comment period for parents to weigh in will be held on December 15th.